what's up you guys shardmas here doing another dc multiverse figure set review on the mcfarland toys dc multiverse black adam with cloak adam smasher hawkman cyclone doctor fate and black adam i do not have the mega figures here to review today we're just going to take a look at these six figures over here and i gotta say i am very excited for the black adam movie i feel like the shazam part of the dceu or whatever is probably some of the best that we've seen uh, i love the suicide squad and peacemaker also so yeah i'm really looking forward to black adam i think the rock is going to crush it anyway on the side of the packaging you get the names of all of the characters and i really do like all their designs they look like the characters so yeah getting that looks pretty dope on the side you can see the text for each of them and then only this regular black adam packaging has an actual shot of the rock right over there or dwayne johnson but then the rest of the images right here on the back of the packaging are all very comic book style which look very cool so yeah don't have a problem with those and you get windows that creep up to the top and they have a spot varnished black adam logo over there then you get barcodes at the bottom all right let's get to it and crack these things open but first try and pick up your dc multiverse figures you can do so it be big big get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> so here's all six figures out of the packaging and wow there's some really cool stuff going on over here that i really like a lot and i also have some gripes that i will talk about as well as most of these reviews go right that should not be a surprise but anyway let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at these figures so aside from each figure coming with the trading card, each one comes with their standard issue DC Multiverse base, with the exception of Cyclone and Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate has your standard issue DC Flight Stand, which I actually do like a lot, and then Cyclone has her Cyclone effect. But yeah, each of these have the same artwork that we'd seen on the back of the box, so there's nothing really new or crazy over there. Uh, the Black Adam cards have the same read-up on the back, so if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it right now. Then here's the card for Cyclone, and then there's the read-up on the back. If you want to read that one, go ahead and pause it right now. And then here's the Dr. Fate card, and then there's read-up on the back. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Then here's Adam Smasher's card, and then there's a read-up on the back. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause it right now. Then here's Hawkman, and there's a read-up on the back right over here. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause it right now. <laughs> So here we have the Hawkman figure, and I think the design for this character looks great. I'm really excited to see this guy in the movie. I really like the design over here. A nice cast iron finish on the armor and the helmet. Uh, the wings are made with the soft plastic over here. You may lose some symmetry right over here, but still, you heat them up, they'll get into position. You also have the mace right here, which actually looks great with that bright silver paint. However, same issue with the soft plastic. It'll warp on you, but then if you heat it up, it'll go back into position. So... Um, uh, just take note. Anyway, the wings look nice. Just wish we had wings that you could splay outward, you know? And you can hinge them up and down, but that's it. They don't even have hinges that move in and out. You get a lot of detail on this figure. Nice soft material for the armor as well as the torso and lower torso area, so you can get a lot of posability out of it. And I think the details look really good on all of his wardrobe. It, like, it just looks really nice looking. It has like premium sculpt throughout. So I really like that a lot. And if I take the wings off, you can see that we have a lot of details right there on the back of the figure. So yeah, I do like it. You can get them looking up very far. So that's really good. And, you know, the, I'm not going to go through all the articulation. We know how the arms work and stuff. And I do wish that McFarlane Toys would incorporate uh, pinless tech. That would be nice to see. Yeah. But anyway, he can move forward that much with both joints and back a bit farther with both joints. And you get a good amount of pivot over here. It looks a bit unnatural in certain poses. So you have to mess with it, right? And then you can turn side to side. And the hips move outward so you can do the splits. And he kicks forward, back. No upper thigh cut. Wish we got that joint. And then the double joint knees. Ankles turn side to side, move up, down, angle pivot into articulation. <laughs> then here's looking at Cyclone, and I think Warner Brothers is hitting some accuracy points with the design choices on these figures, right? I don't know. Well, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, we get the shoulder pads right over there. She has a lot of wrinkles and some nice wash painted in the clothes, too. Uh, the hair mostly looks really good to me, but... I don't know, like, when the paint disappears, like, how smooth that really looks right there. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a bit questionable with the hair as far as at least the paint apps go, right? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. But anyway, you get some nice texturing right here on the legs. And you can see the boots right here. I mean, from here down, it's all mostly, you know, 
uh, darker black, lighter color black, I guess. You, know, you have some rivets right over here, and the boots look pretty nice and stuff. But I really like this base. Holy crap, this Cyclone base looks fantastic. Huh. wonder if I could think of any other characters that could use this base. But yeah. And as far as her articulation goes, you can't really move the head too far up. Or uh, it can move down a little bit, turn side to side, good amount of head pivoting. And yeah, the torso doesn't, ha I mean, it's a lot of material. So she can move forward and back that much, turn side to side and pivot pretty well. So not too bad. Legs can move all the way outward, kick forward, back. And you do get some upper thigh cut on, I guess, one side of it. <laughs> Wish we had an actual cut or something over here. You know what I mean? Something a little bit more uh, easier to use. She does have the heels of the butt action right there. And then the ankles do move up and down, turn side to side, and beautiful ankle pivot into articulation. And she does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. You can get one peg in there. So there's only one peg available anyway. <laughs> Then we have Dr. Fate, which is the only one that came with the flight stand, by the way. I really think Hawkman should have come with this, you know? But anyway, Dr. Fate over here looks great. Just wish we had an alternate head. Pierce Brosnan head would have been pretty cool to see. Uh, however, um, you know, they're probably going to release another figure variant or something. I don't like it when they do that. But the head does look pretty good. Um, just going off of memory looks pretty solid. I guess it's supposed to be uh, asymmetrical. Like the way it is right over here, I just don't remember it looking that way off the top of my head, but I get, uh, yeah, there we go. Some reference images. There you go. That's helpful for everybody, right? Nice fin right over here. Nice solid gold paint throughout. I mean, it's really consistent when I say solid. Uh, the gold paint inside the cape looks solid. So yeah, I really like the texturing and design of this character. It, it looks mostly black, but I feel like there's just a shade of blue in it. I don't know. I feel like that far from home color you know what i mean uh what do you see uh i see black with a hint of blue in it like a midnight blue what i don't know that or it may just be black <laughs> i could be wrong <laughs> so i'm not going to give an articulation segment on all the figures but yeah looking at adam smasher over here he does look pretty awesome i do like the design for the most part there is something funny about the head it does have kind of a funny look to it it's kind of like you know some superhero movies they have like that weird like under mask underneath the real mask to make it look more, I don't know, symmetrical and everything. I feel like this is just like a regular dude with a skin tight mask on. So I feel like that's what they're going for anyway. And they executed it well. Now I do have this weird glue stuff right over here. I don't know what that is. And it looks a little weird at the shoulders with the gappage right there. I do like the little bits of wear that you could see sculpted into this gunmetal gray armor on him or these uh, arm guards anyway. He does have interchangeable hands. I can't remember where I put the right hand, but yeah, he does come with the left and right wide open hand as well as the fisted hands right over there. And then it's all very hard material uh, for the upper torso, except the lower torso right here at the pelvis, this is softer. So he can still bend forward and back, turn side to side, pivot, and legs move outward pretty far. You guys know the rest, but yeah, a good looking figure. I want to get the mega figure. So um, yeah, eventually I'll get that one. Just stay tuned. <laughs> And here's a look at the rocks and they both look really good to me i've heard people say this is their favorite one uh, for me personally i prefer this one right over here i'm just able to do more with it but i think they both look great and they have very similar sculpts you can just see that they have the different heads at well and then this section is different right here with the robe and stuff and yeah and i think this looks fantastic so just to get a look at that it's a nice pattern with the gold and everything and it's all tattered at the same time uh, it's kind of thick you know so it's not really too malleable and i think you have some nice gold brushing over the black portions right here and on the boots so i think that looks fantastic very pleased with that i like the touch of green that i'm seeing in here and i think the logo looks really good and i think they did a good job of sculpting this fairly close to the lower torso so that it doesn't look too weird when it sticks out like when it leans back it doesn't look bizarre to me it doesn't flay outward you know i think they had a shazam figure that they announced recently where it looked terrible like it was all hanging off all weird you know uh, same thing with this one too it doesn't look all weird when you bend it back or forward it just works perfect and these both look like the rock to me man i don't know i've heard people complain about one or the other i think it may just be the paint apps that you get but uh, i think both of mine look pretty solid i don't know but again this one's my preferred one though a bit more gold on it nice touch of brown right over there so i like this one too because it does stand out a little bit more with the gold right i mean that's on purpose you can see the difference right over there and then this one has fists this one has the relaxed hands so for having the fists thing and this looks great it looks like there's like hidden hieroglyphics it looks like it i don't know 
Does, do you see anything? I don't, I don't know. But could just be imagining stuff. Ooh, I almost forgot to talk about these effects pieces right here. I do like them a lot. He comes with one for each hand, and they look pretty good. Uh, aside from them not looking movie accurate, I guess there were more of a blue color in the trailers, right? I don't know. But, but still looks cool. Just wish they were blue like how they looked in the trailer, right? Or maybe it might look like this in the movie. I, I don't know. Still have not seen the movie yet. Now to measure out these six figures, you can see that they're all standing at around the seven and a quarter inch mark. And then for a winged figure comparison, I wanted to compare Hawkman next to the Wonder Woman 1984 figure. And we have the Batman Who Laughs winged version. And this one does have the foldable wings. I really like that. And I just kind of realized now that it is possible to swap these. Uh, or it may not be. Let's see if I can pop these out. Ooh, yep. And then, by the way, these have hinges on them. The Wonder Woman figure wings do have hinges. Hey, that does port in. Oh, but it does droop. Yeah, it's not working out smoothly for me right now. But if you wanted to make this happen, there are possibilities there. All right. Oh. And the Wonder Woman wings don't fit here at all. Those pegs are way smaller than the peg holes. Then for a Black Adam figure comparison, you can see we have the two rock figures right here. And then we have the DC Multiverse comic version of Black Adam. And then we have the DC Essentials Black Adam. Then here's the movie Black Adam figure next to my movie Shazam figure from the Mattel DC Multiverse line. And this is actually still a cool figure. I do like this. However, I cannot wait to see Shazam 2 and I can't wait to see what McFarlane does with a Shazam 7-inch scale movie figure. And then here's the Black Adam figures next to your average 6-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. <laughs> hey, do you, do you guys smell what? Like, it smells like... Do you smell what the... Ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I have some more DC Multiverse figure reviews coming to you soon. And yeah, it'll be those uh, Arkham figures coming up. Anyway, these figures right here, they look really good. I like them a lot. I can't wait to see the movie. I think that's going to have an effect on how I feel about the figures, but just based off of the most recent trailer and the one before that, but yeah, I I'm stoked for Black Adam still, and I think these look really good. Uh, I can't really complain about the likenesses too much. I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, I to be honest with you, I'm really impressed with the regular uh, Black Adam figures likeness to The Rock or Dwayne Johnson. I think they did a really good job with it. I think it really looks like him. I'm impressed by it actually. Like the more I look at it, the more realistic looking I think it looks, you know, or the more satisfied I am with it. There may be a couple of weird things here and there, you know, amongst the figures, but like for the most part, I think they did a really good job with these. There are some things in general that I'd like to see DC Multiverse include with their figures. And of course, this is just another example of some of the things where, you know, the shortcomings or those uh, things like thigh cuts that we don't have that I feel like we should have, you know. I'm going to complain about that like every time because, again, with these ones, I wish they had that articulation. But for the most part, really happy with these. And at the price point of around, what, uh, 20 bucks a figure, I'm going to give them a sub rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at twinsai.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.